According to the Russian media, OJSC Russian helicopters supervised the first prototype of the light helicopter Mi-34 M1, equipped with the VK-650V turboshaft engine from OJSC UEC Klimov, as it conducted its inaugural hovering flight at the ML Mil and I Kamov National Helicopter Center in Tomolino, Moscow region, on October 15, 2024. The Mi-34M1 helicopter is a modernized version of the Mi-34C light helicopter family, featuring piston engines. There has been no official announcement about the Mi-34M1 program or its first prototype flight tests. The Soviet Union primarily developed the Mi-34, a light civilian helicopter. The Mil Moscow helicopter plant developed it and introduced it in the late 1980s. The Mil Moscow helicopter plant primarily designed the helicopter for civilian uses, such as flight training, private personal transport, aerial surveillance, police operations, and agricultural labor. Despite proposing some variants for military training, the Mi-34 primarily served as a civilian aircraft. Several other Mil helicopters, like the Mi-24 or Mi-28, specifically designed for military combat roles, stand in contrast to this. The Mi-34's production was limited, and it was not as widely adopted as had been hoped. In the light civilian helicopter market segment, the Mi-34 met competition from a variety of helicopters, both domestically and internationally. It was in competition with the Kazan Ansat, a modern light utility helicopter that gained more market acceptance, and the Kamov K-226, a more successful light multi-purpose helicopter in the Russian market. The Eurocopter EC-120, now Airbus H-120, the Bell 206 Jet Ranger, the Schweizer 300 Hughes 300, and the American Robinson R-44 were its main international competitors. The latter became one of the most popular light civilian helicopters worldwide. The Robinson R-44, which dominated the light helicopter market with its combination of reliability, lower operating costs, and established support network, proved to be a formidable competitor for the Mi-34. The commercial success of Western helicopters was largely due to their superior avionics, more contemporary features, and more comprehensive maintenance support. Private ownership and flight training, which were the Mi-34's primary functions, particularly favored the Robinson R-44. The Russian media reports that the Mil and Kemov National Helicopter Center converted the first flight prototype of the Mi-34 M1 in 2024 from the second prototype of the modernized Mi-34 C1 helicopter with the M9FV piston engine, which made its first flight on August 4, 2011, but discontinued in 2013 due to testing issues and has since been in storage. In June 2024, Russian helicopters announced the transfer of the first prototypes of the VK650V engines produced by OJSC, United Engine Corporation, for testing as part of the prototypes of the modernized helicopters, which also included the KA-226 and ANSAT. The development of the VK650V, with takeoff power of 650 horsepower, emergency power of 750 horsepower, has been ongoing at UEC Klimov for a long time, with optimistic claims in recent years about the possibility of VK650V certification by the end of 2024 and the start of series series production in 2025. The engine may not be ready for several years. The progress in developing gearboxes for this engine is also uncertain. Although the Mi-34 M1 program with the VK650V engine aligns with the primary objective of the Russian aviation industry, which is currently facing significant challenges in developing new designs and prefers to engage in endless upgrades and revivals of Soviet-era models, including those as unsuccessful as the Mi-34, there is a dearth of information regarding the program. The Russian Federation's increasing international isolation exacerbates this process, and it appears that Russian helicopters initiated the Mi-34M1 program after the political collapse of the promising light helicopter VRT-500 program, which involved broad international cooperation and targeted foreign markets. On September 30th, ATO, a Russian media outlet, reported on another project aimed at reviving the Mi-34. Russian Helicopters has returned to the idea of resurrecting the production of the light single-engine Mi-34 helicopter, wrote ATO. Rustam Minikhanov, the head of the region, announced that Tatarstan will now assemble this model, 
which the Arseniev Aviation Company, Progress, in the Primorsky Cry produced in the 1990s. This year, a decision was made to produce a new type of Mi-34 helicopter at the Kazan Helicopter Plant, he stated on September 27th during his address to the State Council of Tatarstan. So far, Russian Helicopters has not officially commented on the launch of the program. However, Mikhail Korotkevich, General Director of the National Helicopter Center of Russian Helicopters, revealed plans to revive the Mi-34 with a new Russian gas turbine engine, the VK-650, at the International Congress on Aeronautics in Moscow in December 2023. Initially, they developed this engine to replace the Western power units on the twin-engine ANSAT and K-226 helicopters. Our project is to make the most of the Mi-34's existing design, said Karatkevich. He clarified that this aircraft is the base for three modifications, each with a capacity of four to eight people. The first phase will involve developing a new gearbox for the VK-650 and redesigning the fuel system. We won't touch the main systems of the airframe, except for the passenger and cargo areas, the general director of the National Helicopter Center explained. The takeoff weight of the remotorized aircraft will be 1.55 tons. The second phase plans a complete redesign of the helicopter's airframe, landing gear, fuel system, and tail rotor blades to increase passenger capacity. The takeoff weight of the six-seat modification will increase to 1.75 tons. For the most capacious version, with a takeoff weight of nearly two tons, the main rotor and swashplate will be redesigned. As part of one project, we get three types of aircraft, summarized Karakovich. Russian Helicopters has attempted to revive the Mi-34 program multiple times to add a single-engine gas turbine helicopter to its lineup that could compete with models such as the Airbus H-125 and H-130, Augusta AW-119, and Bell 407 and 505. The DOS AF requested the development of the Mi-34 in the 1980s for pilot training. This helicopter initially had the M Fort V 26B piston engine. In 2009, Russian helicopters announced plans to revive production of this model in two variants. The Mi 34C1 modification was to use a more modern piston engine, the M9 FV. The Mi 34C2 version was planned to be equipped with the French Turbomeca Arius 2F gas turbine engine. Later, Russian helicopters abandoned this program in favor of developing a new light helicopter in partnership with the Italian company Augusta Westland. After halting cooperation with the Italians in 2014, the Russian manufacturer negotiated with the aviation corporation AVIC to assemble the Mi-34 in China. The project did not progress beyond negotiations, despite the expectation of installing Chinese engines on the helicopters. Equipped with the VK-650V turboshaft engine, the Mi-34 variant would make the helicopter more advantageous for specific applications by improving its hot and high performance, ensuring more consistent power delivery, enhancing altitude capabilities, and enhancing fuel efficiency. This engine modification would improve the helicopter's overall efficacy and versatility in a variety of operational conditions, making it more suitable for its intended civilian purposes. The upgraded Mi-34 would be better equipped to compete against more potent light helicopters such as the Bell 4 7 Airbus H-125, and MD-500E with the improved capabilities of the VK-650V turboshaft engine. The enhanced performance characteristics would also place it in closer competition with the more capable variants of the Kamov Ka-226T and the turbine-powered version of the Kazan Ansat. These enhancements would enable it to compete with turbine-powered competitors in its class on the international market, particularly in challenging environments where the improved altitude capabilities and enhanced hot and high performance would be valuable assets. Nevertheless, the Mi-34 would still need to surmount obstacles associated with market presence, support infrastructure, and the established competition from Western manufacturers who have dominated this segment for years. Now, do you think bringing back the Mi-34 with a turboshaft engine makes sense? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership of our channel to encourage us.